hi guys welcome back to our channel Toronto adventures uh, we are happy to have you as always today's video <laughs> it's about the weirdest and funniest things that have happened to us in the last four months of our travel yeah yes it's 141 days since we left home yeah. and yeah we kind of the weirdest things that have happened okay for me Weird. Item number one, please go. <laughs> For me, I uh, went to this small town in South Africa and we're in a backpackers. And we are not naming the name of the town for reasons well known to us. And I was hit on, and I didn't know I was getting hit on. Yeah, yeah. I thought like, I just like happy people, you know, like in backpackers, it's chill, happy. Three days three days and this guy didn't realize what was happening like guys I didn't know. guys tell me how that happens you don't realize i didn't know he got a hug he got taken away like in some instances it was awkward does when the chick would come in just pick you out of the group but then you know <laughs> anyway we laugh about it but we had the weirdest he got a hug. Later she told me about it and I was recalling, I'm thinking. Yes. Hmm. And he was picked yeah. out of many of us, as in yeah. he was the only person this girl would want to talk to and not talk to in the presence of the rest of us. And come the last that's... About it, the, that, that was a bit awkward. <laughs> yes. Like, come, come, come. Hold hug. <laughs> Give hug. Let's go. And the last one was when she walked into the dormitory yeah straight for his bed and three chicks i and two other chicks looked and were like what was that one what was that all about <laughs> anyway we laugh about it yeah it's a joke yes it's, it's a very funny one that we <laughs> seem to have. yeah uh the second one is when our daughter pranked her that yeah. she was pregnant that is funny item number one yeah the other one was weird yeah, so please tell them that you were part of this. Ah! No. I, I, anyway, he I, says I, he I doesn't know. know. Until when she came to the room and she was like, Guess what, Michelle? You just told me and what she was pranking me about. I was like, Ha. Ah. Yes, so if you want to hear all about this prank, <laughs> go to Michelle Murabu's YouTube. <laughs> That is one point where I thought we are going back home. She pranked me she was pregnant. She had not been answering my, my calls and my texts for a couple of days. And then when I get her, she goes, Mom, I have to tell you something. And my heart started coming up. up, 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 up. She was so mad. Until she said she was pregnant. I didn't know whether to spit my heart, stop it, or what. But during that conversation, I saw this trip coming to an end. Like, I was not going to let her be pregnant on her own. I did not know what I will do, but I knew I'm going back home. That's all I knew. The rest of the details, whether I'll beat her, question her, as to know all these other things i had no clue what else i'll do but i knew i'm going back home yes and he was part of this prank he likes yeah weird item number two altitude sickness Maze, we had diarrhea headaches everything like at some point we were very paranoid that's something yeah. like we didn't tell people but at some point we were so paranoid like what's happening like our bodies were uh getting all weird uh, the thing is we we didn't think that we would get sick i mean we come from the highlands that's what we told ourselves but we never remembered how many thousands above sea level and what made us so paranoid and so confused about everything is the diarrhea like it's not listed among altitude sickness symptoms 
and it was so bad so bad so we thought Thank God there are many toilets yes and mm-hmm. we were all alone in that backpackers mm-hmm. so we thought is it food poisoning and if it is food poisoning what's the next we were in lesotho like deep in the mountains and the closest town was 70 kilometers away and we had zero energy zero like lifting our heads up on the table was like but anyway we made it so funny thing number two oh i do i don't do that like you cried like a baby <laughs> from weird to funny in the same country yes you cried like a baby i'm like just stop stop and you're crying 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 now imagine this wind was crazy it's pushed me from my lane to the next lane on the on <laughs> the, the lane for the oncoming traffic luckily in lesotho there isn't that much traffic but still i was on the lane for the oncoming traffic and if i'm pushed further it's a cliff so he says i need to slow down which i did and, and drop, drop the bike now okay i swear <laughs> you will say i'm i'm stupid anything but me thinking about dropping my bike on tarmac was a big thing i cried i literally cried like i don't i kept telling him you drop yours come we hold mine <laughs> He's like, no, let it go. You're going to fall off. I'm like, no, you drop yours. Come, we hold mine. And you're crying. And I'm crying. And at this point, I'm making him feel so guilty for not doing this so quickly. Like, you, you want me to? Yes. Anyway, that was funny. Weird thing number three. We always meet people, and they're like, oh, you're from East Africa. And they're like, yeah. Uh, we have a friend in Tanzania called David. <laughs> and you're like, uh And do you know this Maasai guy yeah. who, who works in Zanzibar and is married to <laughs> And you're like, uh And we are given the details of these people. There's so many Davids in East Africa and Kenya, so uh probably not. But probably you know not. the the innocent look on the people expecting us <laughs> to give a very positive answer about David and you know you look at them and you're like the next question if i say i know David the next how is he can we call him and or James. So, so, yeah and sometimes we are caught up in between or do we disappoint guy, so. do we say we know him but we lost his number <laughs> yeah so and we've been asked about so many David yeah yeah it's yeah. great yeah. but the most interesting was Okay, the David question came out like really this person expected us to know David and even she said he's a very close friend. She was disappointed we didn't know David from Tanzania. Yeah. Ha. Huh. It's still like that girl. She's awesome. She's awesome. Yes, yes. And and after we gave that look that we tried to conceal for so long, she was like, "Oh, I'm sorry." I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> anyway. Funny thing number F, yeah? we've done two. Number 3, yeah. <laughs> uh we always have to explain that we are not locals in each and every country of the African countries. Go to Tanzania. He was a local. Yeah, yeah. I was a foreigner. Yeah, in East Africa, I was the local. In Uganda, we were both locals. So everybody spoke to us in Uganda. In Rwanda, I was a local. He was a foreigner. Yeah. <laughs> they said I look like the girls from Rwanda, and those girls are so beautiful. So. I say it's coolness. <laughs> and I, I love it. Yes. <laughs> then from Rwanda, we went to yeah, we've just said Tanzania. I was a foreigner. And he was a local, so we actually even in Malawi. I was the foreigner. In Malawi, no, in Malawi we were both locals. Yeah. In Malawi we were both locals. In Zambia, we were locals. 
in Botswana, I was a local. Yeah, I was the foreigner. He was the foreigner. In Namibia, we were both locals. Yeah. In South Africa, we are locals. In fact, I'm more local than he is. Mm -hmm. These things. A lot of South Africans have dreadlocks. Yes, yes. <laughs> so every time we have to, we go somewhere and of course we are greeted in the local greetings. We are spoken to in the local language and we don't want to sound rude by telling people English. <laughs> So we kind of conversation. Yes. We're like, uh -huh. Yeah, so we try and pick out what <laughs> the conversation is all about based yeah. on where we are. Sometimes it's a supermarket and we're paying and so we're being asked whether we want a paper bag. And because, you know, sometimes they will, they will speak and pick an item or point at it. So we go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if we don't, no, 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 no. But most of the times, places they have picked that we don't speak this language. Yeah. But yeah. the most amazing thing is... Uh, I'm happy they see us as locals. Yes, it's yeah. such an interesting. And where was it that we went? Um, it's when we got to when we were doing the interview with BBC, mm -hmm. and I enter the supermarket with my helmet on, just the flipped up, and I need to pick a few things quickly. And this lady starts a conversation in Zulu, <laughs> asking me if I ride a motorcycle. Uh, I didn't hear anything, but when I had moto, I knew it was all about motorcycle. And I said, yeah, I ride a motorcycle. So quickly say it in English and the conversation changes to the language you understand. But we've had to learn greetings. How do you say uh, hello? You haven't learned? Dumela. That's Botswana. And you say, Dumela, Ma, Emma, to a woman. I'm thinking, how are we going to survive in... in South America. We'll survive. So anyway, that's the funniest thing I've number two. <laughs> ha! And when your helmet goes off. Yes, that's another funny thing. I end up talking to myself like for long and I charge her helmet does not give as much charge. As his. Yeah. And then it tells me battery low. Goodbye. Without any without No warning. warning. No nothing. So the next thing he's talking to himself and he doesn't know why I'm not answering. <laughs> and sometimes he doesn't see my signals which are <laughs> So now you know. When I do helmet is off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are the funny things we have experienced in the four months. In Africa? No, there are so many. I like, those are the ones we could pick out. <laughs> yeah, the ones we could remember right now. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure we'll remember more and we'll share more with you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we forgot the mice. Oh, yeah. Yes, Jeez. the mice in Malawi. <laughs> that was so weird. Eating so, rats. <laughs> so they're weird. not rats. They're mice. No, they're rats. They're mice. They're mice. They're mice. Like, okay. Like, if you think that they eat rats in Malawi, please let us know down in the comment. If you agree with me that it is they're mice, they're not rats, also let us know in the comments. They're mice. They're rats. Okay. Mm. We'll hear from the people. <laughs> and also let us know what else you would like to know about us. We are in Johannesburg waiting to fly to Argentina. We have a week to keep you updated with all that's happening on this trip and we love it you'll see more of these videos coming yeah <laughs> so please please subscribe to our channel hit the red button down there and also hit the bell so that you can get notifications when we post something we'll try and give you this as much as possible otherwise sometimes we don't have internet and therefore we are not able to come online or upload anything what do you have to say to people? Yeah. Yeah. And follow our <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> follow us on our Facebook. That's the most updated platform, uh, Throttle Adventures. Instagram, 
we also keep it very very current it's throttleadventures.ke and twitter that is throttle adv underscore ke Ta -da! see you soon